Hi, and welcome to another mini lesson on Adobe Premiere Elements. My name is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. And today we'll talk about how to add subtitles in Adobe Premiere Elements. So let's begin. So as you can see from this picture, what I mean by a subtitle is are the text below the video clip, which is here. It can be a translated text or it can be the voiceover text right, for viewers to read without listening. So next, okay, if you happen to want to download the PDF guide, which I'll be showing you here, go to this page, videolane.com slash subtitle dash prel. You go there to download this PDF step-by-step -step guide. Now, <clears throat> let's begin. On the timeline, place the playhead over the clip you want to subtitle. So let's go to our Premiere Elements. For this tutorial, I'm using Premiere Elements 13. And you can see I already have two clips on the timeline, one over here and the other one over here. Now, for let's say I want to subtitle this clip, the first clip. First, I'll have to move my playhead over the clip, all right? And then, next, go to the main menu and select text, new text, then default text. Okay, go back. So go to the main menu, select text, new text, and default text. Once you do that, you will see a new clip, a title clip, right on top of your video clip. All right, it's over here, the purple one. And also, you will see a new adjustment panel, what we call the text adjustment panel. And inside the preview monitor, you will see a, two boxes, actually, and a smaller box and a bigger box for you to input your text. Next. In the text edit box, type in or paste in the text. Okay. Inside here, you will see this little rectangle called add text. This is your text edit box. We are going to replace this with our text or subtitle text. Okay, you can, you can either type in, put your cursor here and type in, or what I prefer to do is copy and paste because usually the script is already written. So why do I need to type in again? Just straight away copy and paste the script. So let me go to my text file over here. I'm gonna pick this line. This line is meant to be the subtitle for that video clip. So what I'm doing is copy. I'm gonna press Control C or if you wanna look, copy and then go back to here, highlight the text, and then select paste. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to change the sequence of my instructions. From here, I'm going to push or position the text at the bottom where all subtitles are supposed to be. So go to the adjustment panel, select the arrow cursor, and then come back here and push the text to the bottom. Yep, I'm using the, the inner rectangle as a reference. Okay, okay, some of you might ask, what is this two rectangles for? This is called the safety area or the text safety area. Why safety? Because on some monitors, especially the older ones, if you place your text outside the rectangle, it gets cut off. The monitor can only see what's inside the rectangle. And why are there two rectangles? Okay, most monitors start cutting off from the outer, outer rectangles. Outer, <coughs> from the outer rectangle, that means 
what you see here will be cut off on the monitor. So if you put your text outside the line, some older monitors won't be able to see your text. However, some monitors really cut off a lot. So the suggestion is to place your text on the outer, on the inner safety area. That being said, if you're making a web video, it doesn't matter, right? So place it here. And now, as you can see, the text is very long. It stretches out of the screen. So what we want to do is right click on it and select word wrap. There, better than just now. Okay, so next step. Ensure that your text is readable by having outline and shadow on a white and bold font. So in the text adjustment panel, click on style tab, scroll down to find and select Nuva White 85. Go to your text adjustment panel, select style tab, okay, and scroll down till you find Nuva White 85. Click on it. There. You see the font has changed into another font, which is outline and shadow. Okay, you can see it clearer over here. The font is outlined and shadow. So next. In the text adjustment panel, click on text tab, change the font to Arial and size to 50. Why am I doing this? Because I don't like this Nuva font. I'm doing a serious documentary and I want a serious looking font. So I'm going back to the, that's inside the text adjustment panel. Go back to the text tab on the font, select Arial. Arial is quite a common font, neutral, not too, Fancy full. So there you go. Arial. Now you can see the text is still a bit large. So change the size to 50. 50 seems to be a good size for most subtitles, right? So now our subtitle is split into just two lines and fits nicely into our text safety area. So what's next? Go back to the text edit box, right click on it, and select word wrap. Okay, we have done this. Next, pick the arrow cursor from the adjustments panel and move the text edit box to the bottom center. We have done that. In the timeline, adjust the text clip length. In the timeline, adjust the text clip length. This is your text clip, and this is your video clip. The video clip starts from here to here, about nine seconds long, but the text clip is shorter by default. By default, it's about seven seconds. So I want this text, subtitle text, to stretch across the whole of this clip. What do you do, right? Like any other clip, hover over the side till you see the trim icon and then hold on to your mouse and stretch it. Okay, stretch until it's the same length as your video clip. Okay, so let's play back and watch. Right, about to end this video clip. There, and it moves to the next clip. Okay, so that's your subtitle for one clip. Move on. Tip for the rest of the subtitles, save time. We don't have to do all that adjustment again by duplicating the previous clip and changing the text. How do we do that? Go to the Project Assets panel, right-click on the text thumbnail, and 
select duplicate. Okay, what I mean is, as you can see from the instructions just now, it took a long time for us to create this subtitle. We had to change the font, change the size, select outline and shadows, reposition it. But in a typical video, we are going to have more than, usually more than 10 subtitles, each one for a separate scene. So we're not going to go through all that again. We are going to duplicate the properties of the text clip that we have created. So what we need to do is go to Project Assets Panel, click on it. Okay, go to your title clip, right click on it, and select Duplicate. That you can see, this is called Title 03, and Duplicate is called Title 03 Copy. Now, let's go to the next step. Drag the duplicated text clip from the Project Assets panel into the timeline above the clip you want to subtitle next. <clears throat> so this is the clip we are going to subtitle next. And what we need to do is, to, from the Project Assets panel, drag the copy the duplicated text clip over the second video clip and drop it. Okay. Next. Double click on the text, double click on the new text clip in the timeline and move the playhead over the text clip. What, my, what I'm trying to do is right double click on this clip and move the playhead over it. Why? So that I can see the text and the video clip. If my playhead is still over here, I will see the previous clip and the previous text. So it's important that you move your playhead to the text and video clip you want to see or work on. So let's close the project assets panel. Now you can see this clearly. Next. Go to the text edit box, delete the existing text, and replace with the new one. Okay, what's the new one? Let me copy the new text first. Go to my text file. This is the second line from the script. And I'm going to copy it. Copy. Go back to our Premiere elements. Okay, and highlight over the existing clip, all of it. Right click and press paste. Okay, wait for a while while Premiere Elements process it. It's usually not that long, but because I'm using Google Hangouts to record this session, there seems to be a conflict with this function. All right, so wait, okay, there you go. The new text. All right, and that's it. No, not really it, so. In the timeline, adjust the text clip length. So what I mean is, okay, my, my second clip is about this long, and I want my text clip to be the same length as my second video clip. So just stretch it and there. So let me play back from somewhere here to the next scene. There you go. So there. So if you have more scenes and more subtitles, all you have to do is to repeat the duplication step over and over again very, very quickly. It duplicate the text, bring it down to the timeline, and then replace the text. That's it. So if you have any more questions, write a comment below. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Okay. And um, of course, I have the full course at my website if you want to know more about Premier Elements, the ultimate guide. So download it at www.videolane.com 
slash prel. Until next time, see you again.